Next, let us look at some properties of periodic functions. First property, if fx is a periodic function with a period of t, then the period of the same function fx multiplied by some constant real number is also t. And also the function fx added to or subtracted from any constant will also have the same period t. So for example, the period of sin x is 2 pi and the period of hundred times sin x is also 2 pi period of minus 55 sin x will also be 2 pi okay so that gives you an idea of property 1 sub property 1 next period of tan x is pi and so period of tan x plus 10 is also pi period of tan x minus 20 is also pi so these are some simple examples of how property one works. Next property. Period of a function f of x plus a is also equal to t. Of course, now you must remember that this is subjective. The fact that the period of the function fx is t. Similarly, the period of function f of ax plus b is t upon modulus of a. For example, period of sine of x plus 10 is also 2 pi. And similarly, period of sine of 4x plus 5 will be equal to 2 pi by 4 that is it will be equal to pi by 2 next property period of 1 upon fx will also be equal to t and period of square root of fx will also be equal to t that is say the period of cosec x will be equal to 2 pi and the period of square root of sin x is also 2 pi. Next, if the period of a function fx is given by m upon n where m and n are both natural numbers and the period of gx is r upon s where r and s are also natural numbers then the period of fx plus gx is given by the least common multiple of the numerators divided by the highest common factor of the denominators so for example period of 
sin x equals two pi period of cos x also equals two pi. So here the period of sin x plus cos x of course here 2 pi is not a natural number so this rule does not apply but we can of course find the period of sin x plus cos x by multiplying it by root 2 and then dividing it by root 2 so the 1 upon root 2 becomes cos pi by 4 so we get here sine of x plus pi by 4 and thus the period of sine x plus cos x is also 2 pi.